Hey, uh, I'm here to share my big bore with you. I got the latest Theawani. I like the Shiva 3. It's a little bit more or less rippy than the other original. I mean, the Shiva 2 is a little harsh, but uh, whatever, each to their own. This is the big bore. It's not as big as bore as like a boucher, but uh, it's, a, it's a big bore. It's not as big as uh, Keel's worth. So, but it's bigger than a, a 1954 to a 1962 Mark VI, and it looks like a Mark VI, except for this keying right here. And you can see that uh, little baby, see the little baby roller? That's kind of neat. They added that uh, to it. So, this is like the deluxe model of the time. It, it reminds, the mid-range reminds me of a reference 54. <laughs> Playing a kind of a hard read on this uh, open piece. It's a nine uh, open tip, so playing kind of a hard read on it, so it's kind of hard to hit the low notes, but It's got a real barking sound. You don't have to growl through it. It just naturally growls when you take off the octave key. Um, yeah, it's a very, very special horn. It's been set up, I think, by Tenor Madness. It's got the Tenor Madness pad. Anyways, those brass, typical of Tenor Madness. Um, oversized brass uh, resonators. Um, I don't know, I think I might put it up for sale, but yeah, it's such a nice blues horn. Uh, blues horn, you're never gonna, you're not gonna beat it. The, the setup is uh, perfect uh, for this type of straight um, stack. Keys, the key tone holes are straight in a row, because this is an older, I think it's as old as a, uh, balanced action. It's like a balanced action, but only it's like the more luxury, like a Rolls Royce version of the balanced action. But uh, I'm not sure what year it is they made these big bores. Um, this one's you know, almost in mint condition. It's got a little ding right here that can be taken out. It's not you can't see it, but um, just right on top there. But uh, other than that, no other dings. It's and then up top it's it's got a real it's got like a smaller Anyways, it just seems like it with this this G key, this high altissimo G. It seems like it's small. Uh, it's smaller, but it's easier to reach for some reason. It's and everything is very compact in the action right here um, with the with the D flat F action right here. Um, it's got action right here, like a Mark VI, you know, flat flat high F key and no. F sharp, thank God. And in fact, if they can, you can take this freaking F sharp and stick it up your yin yang too. I don't need it. It's just another leak that can happen. Um, but uh, this isn't leaking. This is set up perfectly. Um, if you're inter interested, just comment. It's got little, some interesting stuff that you will not see on another sax, like this little. Black uh, set up with black 
felt, and it's all original felt. Um, I don't know what year it is. I think it's like a 40 something. <laughs> seems to make the sound waves easier. Kind of like a 1954-55 Mark VI before they changed in something. I don't know what they did, but uh, first thought, best thought, right? <laughs> Jack Kerouac. And uh, anyways, um, so this has got that same resonance, even though it's got a bigger neck for the tenon, the tube on this neck is bigger than a Mark VI. It's got that resonance of it. Um, well, it's a summer. Um, the only other thing I can, in the mid range, it sounds kind of like a reference 54, which is the best mid range of any sax I've played. Uh, <laughs> It's like a mix between a reference 54 and a, and a early Mark VI, like the first models that came out. like getting free energy basically when you blow through it anyways I hope you liked it and we'll, we'll just close with me not talking <laughs> Mm-hmm.
my name is Scotty with Scotty's Blues, and I'm just a hobby guy. I don't really play sax professionally, so if you have any questions, just comment and please give thumbs up for my YouTube channel if you support me like that. I'm not getting in financed yet. Uh, finance. I'm not getting paid from YouTube um, until I get a thousand views, and I'm planning on uh, getting extra income from YouTube so I can put my little girl through the college, and that's why I'm selling some horns from my uh, collection. Um, so if you could support me, that would be great. Just give me a thumbs up. Okay, for now. <laughs> Thank you.